All 12 unique raid items are required for me to leave my starting chunk. So far, I've been very lucky in normal mode Chambers of Zerk, but one thing I haven't done yet is receive a purple light from challenge mode raids. Today, we change that. Last episode we continued to grind mega scale raids for purples and got rewarded with three new items the dexterous prayer scroll a kodai insignia and dragon claws along the way i completed a chunk requirement to pick a nox fur now let's continue where we left off 305k points a sad little death to gnome see if we can still make out with the purple we do we get a purple Rewarded for dying, I, I swear to god, every time. What are we saying? Oh my. Yes! The bulwark. That's our, uh, that's what I wanted. No way we get a bulwark. Oh my god, that's sick. That's the godly RNG. Look at those defenses. That's so sick. All right, another walk up. You will get from roll. <laughs> White light. Okay, okay, 57k points. Give me something good in this, please. Oof. It's okay, it's okay. After getting both the Dragon Claws and the Bulwark, I decided to switch my focus. Even though the Mega Skills are a lot of fun and great for getting purples, they don't help me make progress towards the 2000 challenge mode kill count that I need for the capes on the collection log. If you are unaware, the Chambers of Zerk is the only raid where the kill count capes don't include normal mode kill count. Since the Mega Skill raids have to be done in normal mode, they don't help me make progress towards those capes. With that being said, it makes sense for me to switch my focus from farming purples, most of which I can't even use yet, to working towards these kill count capes using our newly acquired weapons. Luckily, we can still get many purples on our way to these kill count capes, and if we are not 12 out of 12 unique items by the end of the grind, we can go back to mega skills to finish them off. Currently, I am at 150 challenge mode kill count without any purples over two times the expected rate. Before we make it to 2000 challenge mode raids, my goal is to get at least 40 purple lights along the way. My strategy is to do trio and five man skill raids as they are the fastest and easiest way to make the challenge time, which is needed to get the boost of 5000 points per player at the end of the raid and have a chance to get twisted kits and the metamorphic dust, which is also required for the chunk. That's enough talking, let's get into it. Wait. Man, team never gets a drop. I just want the team to get a drop, man. A chat. Hopefully something for the team. My light. Man, the team never gets rewarded. 157, I was right. Now you might be noticing a slight problem with my inventory. Yes, we are out of air runes, and this has been a massive problem that I need to solve right away. Unfortunately, there's no way to get air runes any faster than what I was already doing, so my solution was to drop the magic completely from the raid and find a way to use melee in as many rooms as possible to conserve my supplies. After I save up my air runes for a few months and we get some magic levels and upgrades, then we can get more XP and points out of our runes. Now let me show you guys how a typical raid would go with our new setup. The Din's Bulwark is my new best weapon on Tecton because of its insane crush accuracy. Although I do still prefer the Dragon Claw's special attack in this room. I came across an interesting way to melee Ice Demon during the most recent league. Moving between these two tiles every two game ticks allows me to not lose any DPS while completely avoiding the range attack. Although this time didn't go as planned when I accidentally sipped my overload instead of prayer. Oh my god, there's no way I misclicked the overload. 
For now, the only time I use magic within the raid is to cast vulnerability on the guardian statues, which reduces their defense by 10%. In the Vasa room, the Dragon Claws are the best special attack in the game on the crystals. They also have a stab option, making them extra helpful in this room for my account. It's a similar story in the Mutadal room, as the baby Mutadal is weak to stab. After the cocks changes, the best method to speed up this room is to entangle and ZGS back the Mutadals to keep them from healing on the meat tree. You might be asking, what do I do in the Ulm room without bringing any magic? With a well-coordinated team, I can continuously attack the melee hand without taking any damage from Ulm. Since my melee stats and gear are much better than my magic stats and gear, I can get even more points per raid this way and help my team accumulate better raid times as well. Since I have limited run energy, I can also conserve by walking for part of the cycle. And with the run energy I can save, I can do the 2 to 0 method to evade all damage while the head is fixed on the melee side. Hey guys, I want to give a quick shout out to another YouTuber, FreyRS. Do you guys like chunks? I bet you do. Did you know that some people aren't stuck in their first chunk for over two whole years? Crazy to think about. If you like chunk content, check out FreyRS's YouTube channel and his Canifis chunk account. He started in Canifis, but has made his way over to the Rev Caves, where he is currently battling bots, PKers, and RNG in order to obtain every unique at the Rev Caves. Now, for those of you who really, really love chunk content, I'm about to drop you the mother of all content. Linked in the description will be a Google document where you can find every YouTube chunk series to keep you entertained for hours on end with chunk content. Check them out and enjoy. Well, we got a... We saw an arcane anyway. I died on this one right at the end, so... A little unfortunate. We can go right back in. There we go. 56 range. Four levels left before we can wear our red spiky van braces. Actually be a big improvement for melee and for range. Almost as good as arrows or death runes. We're going to use this dark relic. And agility, once again, uh, will get us pretty high up, I think. Two levels, that's not bad. Pretty close to the next one. Connor got an arcane prayer scroll this raid, and we got a dark relic. Get some more agility XP here. Puts me up to 35. One more level and we have another run regeneration. Alright, we can hop this one. Hey, a Dark Relic. That's some more agility XP. Nice. This should bring me... Oh, actually, I don't know. Let's see what agility XP uh, level. Level 37 agility. Uh, 36 is actually another run restoration level, so... That is actually useful. So, good. Woo! That was a... Big old chomper. All by a big old mage hit. If it's arrows, I'm gonna freak. <laughs> it'll be very. It'll probably be a lot of arrows. Good luck. White light for me and the team. Also gets a white light. But that is the most points I've gotten in a race so far 19.4k. But we do not get lucky on the arrows, man. Come on, I need the arrows. Stack is dwindling. There is 77 strength, 94 combat, and that displays in the CC for some reason. Well, we'll take it. Maybe a new max hit. There's level 57 prayer. That's a new new threshold on uh, revitalizations give me an extra prayer point within the raid oh, i did get the level i didn't even see that level 76 attack oh we just got 57 ranged and time to go raiding I was really close to this level so i decided to Get it on some extra ammunition I got from Maze Random.
White light. Ah, money. And a dark relic. Hey. That's more agility XP for me. Lots of dark relics lately. Oh, we are very close to 39 agility. The next uh, run regen rate is at 42. Oh. oh, how did I do that? Let's hide chat. White light for me. And a purple, the team. <laughs> Good luck. White for me. Oh, please give me arrows. Good points, give me arrows. We got a dark relic though. Uh, another couple agility levels. I think I'll get to 40 with this. And um, I don't get a run regen until uh, 42 though, but this will bring me closer. There's 40 agility. Oh, wait for me. Wait for everybody. <laughs> it sucks. That uh, safe spot? That might be safe spot. Oh no! Oh oh no! 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 Ah! Run! Go melee! Come on! <laughs> Close! Close! 53 thieving. <laughs> it's always nice to get those surprise levels in the middle of the raid. In Dark Relics in one video. But yeah, let's put this one on agility again. I don't think this will get us to 42. 6k XP. Probably not. 41 agility. One more Dark Relic, we'll have 42. And that'll be another run regeneration um, milestone for us. But I can't complain. That's a lot of dark relics, and those are good. I'm put this lamp in agility just because I'm really close to it. I think I'm gonna stop at 42 for dark relics. Uh, maybe put some in range and prayer. Like these skills, kind of slow at this point, and I really want to get them up. So let's get the 42 agility, and that's new run regeneration. On the very last one, Flash and Curse spells, we got level 55 magic, locks high alchemy, which we will probably not be using for a long time. Since we're saving up our law and, or sorry, since we're saving up our nature and fire runes for a while. But that's still pretty cool to get more magic defense in the raid as well. Fifty-eight range. Left the last raid with like six HP left, or six XP left. Wow, we just reached twelve fifty total level. This means that we can now access the twelve fifty total worlds, and that would probably help us for implant catching stuff like that. Pretty cool, milestone. If you enjoy some live content, check me out at twitch.tv slash agiletom and never miss funny moments like this. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. You be very careful. I clicked! I clicked. I swear I clicked there. That was some lag or something.
Purple. I got a purple. <laughs> oh my god. I have a feeling it's going to be a dupe though. <laughs> See? Okay, a dupe. I was expecting this. There we go. Holy. Another Dex. <laughs> and that's the first drop from CMs. That's sick. There's a little 82 mining. One closer. One more level and we're halfway to 90. Feels good, man. I just hit 200 challenge mode raid kill count, which means that we are 10% of the way to the 2000 kill count cape. I believe that I have mastered my strategy and I can now grind out all of the kill count right now. But I won't. Not just yet. Right now I can consistently get 15 to 20k points per raid, but with two non-RNG upgrades, I'm confident that that will easily boost to 20 to 25k per raid, which will make a massive difference overall. First I'm going to finish the 80 fletching grind in order to upgrade my Yu longbow to a magic short bow. After that, I'll take my melee weapons to the trolls and bury big bones until 74 prayer for rigor. In the time that it will take me to get 74 prayer, I will get 99 strength and more. After these upgrades, there'll be nothing holding us back from completing challenge mode. Big shout out as always to the people willing to grind challenge mode with me. If you would like to be on this list, message me in game. Thank you for watching the video. Very excited to have the bulwark and tons of other progress this episode. I love you all. Have a great day.